quick so how you use my fib um my fib settings which i don't really use fibs because i use um pivots uh, based on fibs which is you know the same thing but i think much more accurate and you don't have to draw them every day you go up here and you go to fib retracement um i don't know if you guys can see that on my screen you go up here and you go to fib retracement like this okay and if you're going to be doing a long you start from the bottom Draw up, and if you're trying to do a short, you start from the bottom and go down. So in this case, if we're gonna start, we're gonna do a long. We start from the local bottom. We draw it to a local top. You know, just try to keep it consistent. Okay, if you're doing wick to wick or butt to butt or whatever. So here in this case, I just drew one from the bottom here to the local top. Now you can draw these on any time frame, but again, my settings are these, and they're listed in the Discord if you really want them, but the colors are important for these so i'll quickly explain them so the zero is uh you know the top one to the bottom obviously the way this works is that for anytime you have um something that's super super bullish okay and you're looking to get into a long you want to be targeting the 382 which is the screen line that is only to enter at super super bullish situations okay the purple is like the 0.5 is like moderate, you know, bullishness, maybe mild bullishness, moderate bullishness. Okay. This is a better entry is the 0.5. The best entry is entering at the golden zone, which is the 61866, this golden zone right here. Okay. 0.786 is generally your stop loss. So if you're entering the golden zone, 786 would be your stop loss. All right, and that's what those colors mean. Now, one tip for drawing these fibs, based on my own experience, is that the 618 and the 66 should match up with the previous high. See? So that's one way to tell if you kind of more or less drew them right. And I've never heard anyone else say that before, ever. But it makes sense if you really understand how um, price action occurs. Because these are all ratios. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now you can draw these on any time frame you want. Okay. So if we look at this, this uh, trust wall token, you can see that it started down here, but we had a nice bounce at the, you know, 382. We found some support here and at the 0.5. But this golden zone is going to be where it's at. This is going to be the great buy. Right. And you can do this on, let me go to Bitcoin. Okay. So let's, let's go to the one minute. Okay. Just so we can uh, get an idea. Okay. So you can do it to any, any high, any low, any local high, local low. Okay. So we're probably at the three, eight, two right now for this thing. Oops, wrong one. Sorry. I just screwed that up. I'll cut that out in post. This one's a little weird, but we'll do it like this. Okay. So I don't know which of these is the local bottom, but anyway. So the, this previous high should match or this high should, sorry, this, the 61866 uh, six should match up with the previous high. So I don't know. Let's find, let me find one that's actually kind of sideways here. The local bottom. There we go. We'll do do this one right here. These are kind of isolated. Okay. So we draw from the local bottom to local local high here. Okay. So you can see that you know for these fibs, the six one eight six six matched up to the previous high, right? Um, but then your key levels to buy at would be this up a little bit right there would be the 382 which it did find support here originally um, and then bounced here it came down you know filled the support again eventually the support broke because every time you visit a supporter it's going to break down right and then it came and filled the 0. 0.5 so we said the 382 is for the most bullish times very rarely you're going to long there but that's only when it's most bullish 
5.5 is a better long. That's like moderate bullishness. And then 61866, the golden zone, is by far the best place to long for these. So, you, you know, the golden zone is king. Now, the reason I don't draw fibs very much is because they're relative to that high and that low, right? And price action moves rather quickly. So we have to adapt all the time. So that means you're drawing fibs all the time. Okay. And also the fibs are relative to the time frame. So, you know, like if you draw a fib from like here to here, right? That's great for, you know, this small time frame right here. But then, you know, if you're drawing one for the this big time frame, right? If you really zoom out, you're drawing one from here to here. And then it could look like vision screen where you have, you know, you literally have like this. And you have this, right? And then you have this. And he's a professional scribbler for a reason, right? And you have a million lines on there, right? So, you know, what my mentors taught me is that, um, you know, pivots based on fibs, which are calculated intraday based on the previous time frames, um, and also based on Fibonacci's numbers are, you know, the way to go. And so I found these levels to be, to be key, to be super, super strong, very accurate. They're auto calculating based on the previous highs and lows. So they're very similar to fibs. Um, but I found it to be much more precise, easier to use, more intuitive, um, just overall better. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Most people finish early, but you made it the full distance. That's awesome. If you're looking to learn how to trade crypto, check out one of these other videos.